Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today is going to be another chill Friday Reads video. Will I be doing only Friday Reads from now on? It's very possible because <laughs> of the way reading has been going lately. So yeah, I wanted to make a video this week. Still haven't read a whole lot, so I don't really want to do like a September wrap up part one just yet. I'll probably just have one wrap up for this month, September wrap up. We're in October. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I would just do another Friday Reads and update you guys on life and what's going on with my reading after last week's update and also just to start things off thanks so much to everyone who left really kind and really supportive messages on that video as well as various like instagram posts and things like that i appreciate it so so much you guys and people have even like tweeted at me one girl said she was like woke up thinking about me and my reading slump and like tweeted that like tagged me in it and i thought that was like the kindest thing <laughs> someone has said. So yes, just thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to me and I really do appreciate it. So I finished The Cruel Prince. I think I finished it Friday night and I liked it. I didn't love it. I probably will continue on with the series because I really like the stuff that's happening in the book. Like I like the world building and I like the more adventure sides of it, but all of the romance stuff I found to be so predictable. I don't want to go into spoilers, but like sort of the things that happen towards the end of the book romantically, I 1000% saw coming from like page one. Um, and even like some of the reveals that they have with those characters, I was just like, this is so obvious. I don't know if this is considered spoilery or not. I don't think it is, but it has like a very pride and prejudice template to it. Um, you could definitely like plug in certain cruel prince characters for certain pride and prejudice characters and not that it like fits perfectly but I feel like that's the reason why I was able to see everything fall into place the way that it did. Even with the way other characters came together and stuff like that um, outside of like the main characters I was just like, yeah, I, I saw that coming. So that was like the main downfall for me. So anytime it was like focused on those plot lines, I stopped caring quite as much. Um, there was a point towards the like 75% mark where I could feel my interest waning again. But at that point, I saw on my Kindle that I had like an hour to an hour and a half left in the book or something along those lines. And so I just like pushed through to the end. Or I think at that point I had like a half an hour left or something along those lines. So yeah, I just like pushed through on Friday night and I was like, okay, I finished a book. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And then after that point, I did not end up reading an absolutely remarkable thing. The idea of like pushing myself to try to read a book in a weekend is just like a thing that also felt way too stressful at this point in time. So I decided to abandon that. And if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen me post about, um, I got like ebook versions of a bunch of different books that I already own in an attempt to read things on my Kindle. Uh, because that seems to be what my brain wants at the moment and also what my body wants because I don't have any interest in holding physical books right now. But I also want to like reduce my physical TBR. So yeah, I got ebook versions of like three different books from the library. Um, I tried two of them, weren't working for me. And so then I switched things up completely and I found out that I was approved for the new Sujata Masi mystery. This one is called uh, the Satapur Moonstone and this one doesn't come out until January but I was very excited by this and I decided to just like give this one a try and this is like super working for me. Like I haven't felt this happy reading a book in maybe a month, maybe like three weeks, something along those lines. So yes, that is the book I'm currently reading. I'm not like rushing through that one. It's an ebook arc um, and so one of the things with that is like the formatting is a little bit weird sometimes with those and so like reading that has been a little bit of a slower experience just because again it's not like formatted perfectly for the Kindle. Um, another thing is that the chapter breaks aren't marked properly so the Kindle can't like pick up the chapter breaks and like properly estimate like time left in a chapter and things like that and typically that would bother me but for some reason it's not with this book. I think it's because like I'm so into it that I'm okay with not knowing exactly how much time I have left in the chapter but what is is bothering me is that for whatever reason my kindle is not properly estimating how long it's going to take me to finish the book which is a thing I want to pay attention to. I'm currently around 20% of the way through this book and it's telling me I only have like an hour and a half left of reading time which is not accurate. It started off saying I was had like seven or eight hours of reading time to finish the whole book which makes sense and then as I was going along it there was like one point where it dropped significantly it went from like seven and 
seven hours and some minutes to like three hours and some minutes and then I turned a couple of more t pages on my Kindle and then it dropped to like less than two hours and I was like okay something is like glitching here and I've been hoping that as I had continued reading it would like properly update itself but it hasn't been it's been sitting at like an hour and a half to an hour and 20 minutes for a while and like I've been spending more than like a half an hour reading so yeah I don't know why it's doing that maybe I just need to restart my kindle if you've ever had that problem before let me know so yeah that is the book I am currently focusing on and again I'm not rushing through it what I am finding is that one the writing in these books is like really comforting like these aren't cozy mysteries but these also aren't like like super violent or like thrillers or suspense books or anything like that like they are kind of on that like slightly deeper side of a cozy mystery so I think that's really what my brain is gravitating towards so I think I might continue on down that path I'm thinking that after I finish this book maybe I'll pick up some Agatha Christie's or something along those lines that have like some meat to it and something you know interesting a good puzzle but they're not like super straining on my brain I suppose is the best way to describe it but yeah I still need to like read my actual books so <laughs> we'll figure it out I'm hoping that like this process of me like tiptoeing back into reading will get me back to where I was I'm looking at this situation as like a walk before I run scenario so right now I am just rehabbing my brain into reading again so yes so yeah that's all of the updates that I have I haven't even been updating my Goodreads I've been really bad about that but it's mostly because I haven't had anything to update on Goodreads for a while uh, but you can always follow me on Goodreads if you're interested in seeing sort of like what I'm finishing when I'm finishing it I don't update my like currently reading status anymore because again that stressed me out a little bit so I've only been putting in books after I've finished reading them so if you are interested to see before I make another one of these videos whether or not I finish any books you can try to follow me on Goodreads and I will try to be better about actually updating it when I finish books so yeah leave a comment down below letting me know again how your reading is going if it's gotten better a lot of you guys were commiserating with me in the last video which I always appreciate or you can let me know like what you're planning on reading this weekend what's been working for you what have you been in the mood in for what I don't know it's time for me to end this video <laughs> so yeah that's all I have for now and thanks for watching